Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Pete and I don't know a single person who wouldn't say that they're not busy. And so it's not really a surprise that lots of people are chasing that elusive goal of becoming like a master of productivity, allowing them to get a ton of things done in the fastest possible time without it affecting the quality of work. It is why the likes of Matt Diavella has seemingly like shot YouTube fame as this productivity master and even some tech YouTubers like Ali Abdul are now seemingly coined as a productivity genius. And so here is my take on how to stay productive by using like a number of apps and tools, which I want to talk about in this video. First up, well, hi, my name is Pete. And since selling my IT business back in early 2020, I now make videos around tech and business stuff and finance. And I'd really appreciate it if you found the subscribe button down below, just below this video and subscribe for more videos because, well, this is basically my job now. So when it comes to productivity, what experience do I have exactly? Well, firstly, I ran my own business for the last decade, employed 16 people and managed like the everyday finances, legals, customers, HR, and just all the things that come with running your own business. Now, since selling that business, I'm now involved in three businesses and my to-do list each week is just growing and growing, but I'm now actually achieving more work every week than I ever did before, whilst I'm technically working now less than I ever did before. Every week, I script, research, and shoot at least two YouTube videos for this channel that you're watching now. I also shoot and edit one video for my other YouTube channel, more for my like, IT audience. Or if it's not a video for myself, it's a video for one of the two companies who I also produce videos for. I also shoot, script, and upload around six or seven videos per week to my IT coaching course, which you can see at notabusinesscoach.com. And along with those six or seven videos, I also try and upload one or two things to that course as well, whether that's like a legal document, marketing, or some other template, but that's my aim for each week. Then on Thursdays, I coach and I have six one hour long phone calls with my coaching clients that day. And on Friday, I take other phone calls and meetings and just basically catch up on my accounts and other emails and have a few calls with the video marketing business that we're building. And then weekends are my family time. Oh, and amongst all of that, did I mention that I have time to head to the gym every single morning, plus take two half days off per week. So I basically work a four day week. Plus now I have time for two coaches who I've recently signed up to help me work on other areas of my business. That is a heck of a lot of stuff to deal with. So in this video, I'm going to run through seven of the best things which I use to help me achieve all of that good stuff. And I'll be sure to leave links down below in the description for this video for, for each and every one of those. So and, and also any discounts I can find for each of those that I use. So just check down there for those. And while you are watching, how about letting us know how you are an absolute beast in productivity by leaving a comment down below. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so these are in no particular order, but the first tool that I use to stay insanely productive <laughs> is the one that helps me organize 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 my life and that is fantastical which is an apple only product and it's actually one of the reasons i struggle i really really struggle to switch to android in my recent series of like those lifelong iphone users which is to android videos there just isn't anything else like it that i've come across now fantastical is a subscription it does cost me 40 dollars per year but the fact i haven't found anything else to compare it to even when i'm willing to spend like good money on it just shows how good this app is now i do have multiple accounts from anything from gmail to microsoft 365 to Apple iCloud and my to-do app, of course, which I'll get to in a moment. And Fantastical has a really great way of bringing all of this information together. So at its heart, it's just a really great way to bring like all of my calendars together in one view. So I don't need to jump between say like Outlook and then Google Calendar and then Apple iCloud to see if I can do something at a certain date or time. It also integrates with my to-do app. So rather than having a separate app open, I can just see and check off tasks from here as well. And in terms of creating appointments, well, Fantastical has a really great like, natural language system where you can just hit the plus button and type whatever you want to do, when, with who, and even which calendar to put it in, and it will place it in the right place. I, I really, really love that as it saves you just like hunting around and clicking and dragging and all that kind of stuff. And Fantastical also integrates really, really nicely with everything from like Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and all the other usual suspects. So you can just check a box to turn a calendar invite into a video conference. So yeah, that's really handy. Like I said, this app does cost $40 per year, or it's like $4.99 per month, but I, it really, really is worth it to me and more. Now, the second app that I use to enhance my productivity and beast through my tasks is my task manager app, which is Todoist, which, as I mentioned before, integrates really, really nicely with Fantastical. But this works in very much the same way when it comes to like the natural language thing. If I have something that I need to do on a certain date, then I can just fire up the Todoist app, click the plus button and type in what I need to do and when. And with the way I have my default view set up, I won't see it again 
until I need to worry about that date. And even works on recurring tasks. So if I need to do something like the same thing every month, like pay myself, then it'll automatically create a to-do item every month that I check off every month. Now, the other really great thing is you can share access to your tasks, which I have shared with my virtual assistant. And so if I have something that I need to get done, but I don't have like the interest or time to do it myself, then I can, can just add it to my to-doist list that my assistant then works through. And I just know that it will get taken care of. And again, that that just works with, with everything with recurring tasks as well, since well, many of the tasks that I delegate need to be done on like a regular basis. So that can be really, really powerful. And Todoist also has card views if you wanna just kind of move cards along the, the kind of process if you like working like that. But I do prefer working in just a plain old simple list and with like a checklist of things to do. Now there's also one other thing that Todoist, well, to does for me, and that is by integrating with Zapier, or Zapier, which is kind of like the third app I wanna talk about in this video. And Zapier is basically a service that you sign up to online, which works in like a, this happens, then do this kind of way. So if something happens over here in this system, then do this over here in the different system System over here. So with Zapier and Todoist, or Zapier and Todoist working together, I can automatically create tasks when certain things happen. When my video editor, another thing that I've outsourced, uploads a video for review, it automatically adds a task to my to-do list, which you can see there, review the uh, YouTube video. I'm really forgetful, or rather I'm not forgetful, but I've just got so many things going on that I just couldn't survive by relying on this on my brain. I need something to organize me. And between Fantastical and Todoist and Zapier all working together so far, these do a pretty damn good job at it. The next one on the list for me is a brief mention for Calendly, which is just like a meetings booking app. And I just have to use this because I have so little time in the working day and I have so many things on the go with like the YouTube, the coaching, the, the video business, that if anyone needs to book some time with me, it pretty much just becomes a logistical nightmare. Like Fantastical, Calendly will integrate with all of my calendars, my Apple family calendar, Google and Microsoft 365. So if anybody wants to book something with me, it will only show times available across all of the calendars. With Canonly, I paid up for their pro subscription, which means I can take car payments via Stripe directly when people book appointments. The first person who booked a call with me when I first signed up to this basically paid for well, more than the year subscription cost me. So again, great return on investment right there. And then I also have a few calendars set there for the video agency and YouTube inquiries and, and such. And absolutely all of this, like Calendly, Fantastical, and, and just all of my time management that I do pretty much boils down to Parkinson's law, which if you don't know this by name, you'll likely have experienced it for yourself. Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill up the time available for its completion, which basically means that any task you set will take as much time, if not more, than the time you actually allocate to it. So to keep my productivity high, I purposely don't schedule in that much time. I mean, half a day per week working on one business, a day and a bit to work on another. Before I was spending five days, five long days running just one business. So yeah, if you're trying to get hold of your schedule and perhaps getting like, inundated with meeting requests constantly, maybe give that whole Canonly with a credit card payment thing a go and just, just see how it works out for you. And then lastly, the final thing I want to talk about, how I hack my productivity or, or explain how I'm so insanely productive as the YouTube world probably want to be to call this video, uh, we'll see, is by outsourcing what I can when I can. And my chosen place so far has been to use a company called Time Etc, because through them, I found a really, really reliable, really good virtual assistant who picks up all sorts of admin things from me every day. So they get done without me just even knowing it. Tasks like turning my videos into a blog post on either of my two websites, checking Google Search Console to see which pages are getting views and then working on those pages to make them better each month, checking my emails, scheduling appointments for me, scheduling some social media media posts, light accountancy bits, and just so much other stuff that I could just go on. But anytime I'm doing a task and I realize that it's a time suck, particularly if it's something that really like needs doing regularly or something I really, really don't particularly enjoy or repetitive, then I ask my VA to do it and she does brilliantly. And this is something I wish I did much earlier on in my business journey because I have to say that outsourcing from pretty much day one has just made it so much easier to scale everything that I'm doing. You do need to get used to delegating and letting go of these things that probably won't be done to your like, own level of standards. But if you don't let go of these relatively small things when looking at the big picture, then you'll just never be able to grow and scale as otherwise you could if you did outsource. Now a great book to read on this topic is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. And that's actually what spurred me on to outsource very early in this time of building a business. So I'll link to that one down below. And actually I'll link to everything I've covered in this video, like all of the apps, the kit that I use and where I outsource my jobs to. So take a look at those if you are interested in signing up for any of them. And if I can find any discounts, of course, as always, I'll be sure to link those down as well. Otherwise, that is it for me in my very first productivity type of video. A bit of a departure from the regular schedule viewing of tech, but it's basically a giant tech review video that reviewed about like seven things at once. So, uh, well, yeah, there you have it. Don't forget, of course, to like the video if you did. Subscribe down below this video if you aren't already. Hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when new videos get posted. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. 
Bye-bye. <laughs>